Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today we are going to discuss the NEET counselling process of Pondicherry. We will look at the seat matrix, cutoff analysis and the entire counselling process. Please visit this website for more information on the same. Now, let's first look at the MBBS and BDS seat matrix of Pondicherry. As you can see, there are 10 MBBS colleges with 1,873 seats in them and 4 BDS colleges with 410 seats in them. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this UT. Here, you have the combined list of MBBS and BDS colleges in Pondicherry. Please remember the names, the locations and the number of seats in them. Now, let's talk about the 2023 MBBS cutoff marks of the government colleges. This was for general, this was for OBC and this was for SC. For other categories, it was not applicable. Now, the same for the private MBBS colleges. General, OBC, SC. For ST, it was not applicable. And the same for the deemed universities, general, EWS, SC, ST and OBC. Now let's talk about the quota categories of Pondicherry. In both government and private medical institutions, the UT quota, that means the Pondicherry quota of 85% is there. And then there is the All India quota, which is 15%. If you want admission in the government colleges, you will pay 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh rupees per annum approximately. And if you want admission in the private medical colleges, you will have to pay 3.5 lakh to 20 lakh rupees per annum approximately. Now let's talk about the counselling process steps. It first starts with online registration. The link to the website has been given. Next, declaration of merit list, then online choice filling, then allotment of seats and in the end, you report at the allotted college. Now we will talk about the eligibility criteria. Only permanent resident certificate holders of Pondicherry are eligible to avail the 85% state quota reservation. But remember, this is an open state. So even after exhausting the 15% All India quota, students from other states can take admission in this UT through the management or institutional quota in the private colleges. Now, let's look at the list of documents required for the counselling. Academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, NEET UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile or nativity certificate if applicable, caste certificate if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof, minority certificate if applicable and other documents if you need it because of the eligibility norms. Now, let's talk about the scholarship. There is scholarship here under post matric scholarship scheme. What are the requirements? The student must be citizen of India and belong to the UT of Pondicherry either by birth or domicile. That is continuous residence not less than 5 years. Then students studying in 11th and 12th standards and have secured promotion to the next higher class with 60% and 50% of marks in 10th and 11th standard. Then any category student with annual family income of 75,000 and below. For more details, please visit this website. Now let's talk about the bond details. There is discontinuation bond in the government and private institutions. So if you discontinue your medical course, you will pay 4 lakh rupees as penalty. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counseling process of Pondicherry. Thank you for watching.